Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Jayco J Feather, model number 27BHB, weighs around 6,500 pounds or so. It's got bunks in the back with a separate entrance into the, outs into the washer from the outside, an outside kitchen full-size slide, separate bedroom, high-end finishes on this guy from Jayco, looking hot. This thing's about as cozy as putting on two pairs of socks. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hanemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. So many people ask for an outside kitchen as well as the door to the bathroom. You don't normally get it on this short of a trailer, so we're hyped up about it. You should click that like and subscribe button. We're putting out videos like this all the time, so you should follow along. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook, producing some sweet reels on these nice high-end trailers. Enjoy. Right on, Brennan. Good looking front fiberglass cap. We're not sure if that's an option or a, sta a standard on this floor plan, so check your build sheet with that. But that's a great looking cap. Eyebrow lights built in, 30 pound tanks, front power jack, battery in a box location right in through there. As we wrap around here, you can see we got a big passer storage with a large passer storage door, battery disconnect, lights on both sides. It's got the outside griddle uh, that goes, it's gonna go to our outside kitchen with a built in inverter. Four manual stabilizer jacks. Those are the rock solid jacks. So they're supposed to be a little more stable than the traditional ones. Make sure you get yourself a drill for that though. Fresh water fill here and then a rack and pinion style slide. Pulling our couch and our dinette off the floor. We got aluminum rims here, Goodyear tires. 14 inch tires in through there. A little bit of bonus storage here at the backside in and around our bunk area. Nicely finished off with a light. Sewer drain down there. Furion gas on-demand water heater, black water flush kit, 30 amp detachable style cord, cable satellite inlet. As we continue on the back, city water connection, outside shower, full-size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. You've got a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days, and look at how freaking long this awning is, Brendan. Love it. Love it. This covers both doors, LED lights in the awning, outside speakers, Fridge vent, range vent, kitchen window, furnace vent, and then here's our outside kitchen right here. We got a drawer for all utensils. It finished off really well with the uh, the Galvanil bottle opener, two cubic foot electric fridge, and then our J port is going to handle our outside griddle that we saw in the past for storage. Outside TV location with an outside receptacle. Three step entrance up and in. The main stair is a secure step. The secondary stair is the fold up step. That's the one to get into the bathroom. Lend a hand, grab handle. The other side of our pass through. Now I don't need to say this again, but we do have access to the washroom from the side of the road, uh, from the secondary door. But then check out the travel access we got in the main door. We got our bedroom there. We got our spot to sit down, take off our shoes. We've got access to the fridge access to the couch, access to the bunks, and even the washroom from this side. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that J Feather 27 BHB. You're standing at the bunks looking through our living space here, past our main slide, past entertainment, into our kitchen. Now our kitchen here, it's not bad for a little bunk model in through here. We got our microwave, our range hood, our three burner stove top and our glass stove top cover. Oven down below, good for a garlic bread or a pizza. Big pot and pan drawer right through there. And then a big cupboard here. You can put like a shorter garbage can in there if you want. I like how the furnace duct work is off to the side, built into the cabinetry like you see. A couple drawers here, a couple drawers there, and then uh, counter extension right through here. Now we do have an undermount plastic sink that does have a cover that's in underneath our uh, bed there. It's a like a roll, roll over rack with a cutting board. Nice faucet there. We got the tower of power where we can charge our cell phone on the top of it as well. Kitchen window and then plates and cup action right here across the top. Now around the side of this uh, uh, kitchen here we've got additional cupboard there. We've got a switch for our electric uh, uh, tank heaters. We've got a cupboard here, a great spot for shoes. It's also a great spot to sit down and pull on your shoes. 
maybe pull off your PJ pants, whatever you're doing. We got a hooks or some hooks right here, a cupboard space there. Now also, this is gonna be your pantry location. If you don't wanna use it for pantry, I guess you could take those shelves out and hang some coats up. Some more cupboard space there. Now into our main slide, it's a booth dinette, up and down for a secondary bed. It's a short bed right through here for kids. Cupboard space here down below. Now into our couch right through here. This is a tri-fold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You got a couple cup holders in there, which is nice. You're gonna have two people sleep in there as long as they're in love. Nice big windows here in the slide as well. And then here at the back, we've got the double over double bunks. There is the storage underneath the bunk from this side. We've got the built-in ladder here. Now, over here on this side, we have the TV across from the couch. You could do theater seats here if you wanted to instead of the couch. We got some drawers. We got a radio. We got lower cupboards right here. And then we got upper cupboards right here for plates and cups. 8 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. You can do still do the gas electric option if you want to. This fridge is running off the battery. Didn't talk about it on the outside, but we do have a solar panel on the roof of this guy coming through a charge controller, uh, charging our battery, and then our battery is operating this fridge. And then just below the fridge here, we get another little big bonus drawer there. Now, here in the washroom, we've got our uh, toilet and our sink and our shower, plastic toilet. Lots of space, easy access from the outside, covered spot there, sink, medicine cabinet, and then uh, I'm six feet tall. Let's see if I fit here in the shower. Oh yeah, lots of height here for me. My head's a little bit in the skylight, but I can definitely make this work. Nice shower curtain. Now, coming out of the bathroom through the living space into your main bedroom. We've got the short queen, which is a 60 by 74 inch queen bed. There is storage here underneath the bed. All right, that's where your cutting board is. And I thought I saw a drying rack right now. Yep, drying rack as well. Storage underneath the bed. Cubby holes on either side. Wardrobe space right through there. You don't really bring your sundresses usually with your, your suits with you when you're camping, so it's nice to have that built-in shelf too. And then cover space here across the top. Windows on both sides of the bed, your charge controllers over there. Big pocket door separating off this opening. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below.